You see your home you love go from active to pending and your heart breaks. Then, about two weeks later, you see it go back to active. What happened? Today we're gonna to discuss why this could possibly take place. My name is Yanni Kifle with your DMV Team Realty. So I joke all the time about how those popular HGTV shows always end when that couple or individual get that great news that their offer has been accepted. It is exciting to hear that, but that is far from the end for a real estate transaction. In fact, it is only the beginning. There are countless contingencies, deadlines, and requirements that need to be met for a person to go from getting the news their offer has been accepted to officially signing to close on a home. Easier said, there's still a lot that can go wrong, and in some cases, things do go wrong unless the contract breaks down. One of the biggest reasons why we see a home go from active to pending to active again has to do with the home inspection. In most cases, a buyer will have the opportunity to do a home inspection to make sure the home they are buying is structurally sound and the major systems and appliances are up to par. As you may have guessed it, sometimes they are not. So in this scenario, the buyer can decide to just walk away and void the contract or they can decide to negotiate with the seller. The buyer can ask for items to be fixed or replaced. They can ask for a cash credit or they can ask for the price to be lowered. Whatever it is, the seller has to agree and in some cases, there's no meeting of the minds so the contract is void and you see that home back on your favorite app as active again. Another common reason is buyer's financing has been denied. They can no longer move forward in purchasing the home. A buyer's financing can be denied for various reasons. Sometimes their credit score drops during the transaction. Their debt to income ratio significantly changes. They lose their job. You hate to see it, but it happens. The buyer sends a notice, their financing has been denied and voids the contract. The seller then signs the release and that home is once again back to active. There are countless other reasons why a home would go from active to pending to active again, but these are the major ones. It just goes to show that it's not over till it's over. So if you're the buyer who just got the news, your offer has been accepted, remember, there's still ways to go. If you're the seller on that same deal, also remember not to count your money just yet. And if you're the other buyer who just saw their favorite home go from active to pending, remember, you may still have a chance. My team and I would love to help you with any of your real estate needs when the time comes. So please be sure to check out yourdmvteamrealty.com.